Welcome to the next video about normal face chromatography. Uh, in this video, we are going to look about into the mechanism of normal face chromatography. And before we start, I would just like to stress that even though the name say, suggests that it's somehow most normal phase of liquid chromatography, this is actually not true. Uh, the, currently, the reverse phase chromatography is much wider used the normal phase chromatography and most likely normal phase chromatography is actually on the third position uh, after the reverse phase and helic chromatography today uh, based on the applicability the number of different methods that make use of this kind of, of uh, hblc uh, columns and uh, chromatographic mechanisms um, but why the name is normal is that this was actually the first kind of uh, chromatography that was used. And if you have ever done um, column chromatography in organic chemistry, for example, to separate your synthesis products, there the retention mechanism still is mainly normal phase chromatography type, where you use just pure silic and organic solvents uh, as stationary phase and mobile phase respectively. Uh, and also, a normal phase chromatography is older. So when uh, Michael Sweat made his prior pioneering chromatographic separations, then his systems were normal phase systems. And normal phase systems were also uh, longer used after that. So reverse phase was developed only later when the silica particles were modified and reverse phase chromatography could be applied. So let's see now what is behind this normal phase chromatography. The stationary phase in normal phase chromatography is uh, a silica particles which have a number of free silanol groups and our analytes can interact with this stationary phase based on the interaction between the analyte and the silanol groups. So this is the very heart of the normal phase chromatography. Uh, the mobile phase in normal phase chromatography is usually an uh, organic modifier or actually a combination of two or more different uh, organic solvents. Usually one of the solvents is very um, unpolar. So for example, hexane or um, an hexane is very common. And uh, another component has slightly more polarity. So for example, either propanol can be used or acetonitrile. Uh, and then this polar part of the mobile phase um, is also able to interact with the silanol groups or that are available on the stationary phase. So the isopropanol here, for example, is interacting with the silanol groups on the stationary phase. And, and therefore, another important interaction in the normal phase is the interaction between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. And as a result, the analyte and the mobile phase are competing for the retention on the stationary phase. So for the possibility to have an interaction with the synonymal groups on the stationary phase. Uh, therefore, uh, we don't want the mobile phase to be uh, to have too strong eluting power. So this means that these polar organic solvent molecules should not be there shouldn't be too many of them so that they are dominantly occupying the silanol groups on the stationary phase. We want them to be there, but not so much. That's why we also have a significant part of organic of unpolar organic uh, solvents such as hexane in our uh, in our mobile phases and uh, our analytes usually can't be too polar uh, but uh, if they don't have any polar moiety such as for example uh, let's assume that we want to chromatograph toluene then toluene can't be very well um, chromatographed with normal phase chromatography because it doesn't interact anyhow with silanol groups. But here on this molecule, we have the carbonyl group, which is polar and which can interact with the silanol groups. So 
this kind of compounds uh, can be uh, retained and therefore also separated. So some kind of polar bonds should be in our analytes to be separated, to be able to separate or to be able to retain even uh, these analytes with a normal phase chromatography. And uh, the more polar these compounds are, the stronger they are retained by the stationary phase. So that means that they it takes them longer time to elute from the column. And um, compounds which are too polar, so for example, ionic substances, what happens with them is that they will be so strongly attached to the silanol groups that they will almost not elute from the stationary phase at all. So we can't really chromatograph these compounds either. So uh, compared to the reverse phase uh, chromatography, the compounds that we can analyze are slightly less polar, but the, the most unpolar compounds we still can't um, separate. And compounds which are very, io very strongly ionic, we can't separate either because they are just retained by the stationary phase and don't move in the column. Um, don't move through the column. So from the realization point of view, the mobile phase is then usually a mixture of uh, two organic solvents or more, and it does not contain any water. The reason is that water would just so strongly interact with the silanol groups that uh, analytes would not be able to compete with water and would not be retained at all. And all these silanol groups here would be occupied by water molecules and the analytes would not stand a chance here to get any retention. The stationary phase usually and traditionally is silica, uh, but it can also be aluminum oxide, which also has similar polar groups on the surface or it can be also a modified phase, either having cyano groups or dial groups or amino groups on the surface, all of which then have slightly different interactions with the analytes, so they can be used to tweak the, um, tweak the, um, tweak the selectivity when we want to separate some compounds which are very hard to separate with a normal silica, so we can look into other stationary phases which might provide additional selectivity. And analytes are primarily neutral compounds, not too polar, not too unpolar, but uh, neutral compounds. Ionic compounds retain just too strongly. In the next video, we are going to look into helichromatography, which is a kind of a modification between reversed phase chromatography and normal phase chromatography. See you there.